Insertion sort is a very simple sorting algorithm that compares the data two items at a time, then positions the smaller of those two towards the beginning of the data, and continues to compare that value to the part of the data that has already been sorted until it's either placed at the beginning or encounters a value smaller than it. It is much less efficient than using large lists and more advanced algorithms, but it does provide several advantages. It has a simple implementation, not a lot of code involved, and relatively simple to see what's going on. It's efficient for small data sets. The insertion sort is one of the fastest sorting algorithms for sorting arrays containing fewer than 10 elements. The insertion sort is adaptive. This means that the algorithm is efficient for data sets that are already so substantially sorted. The time complexity is O times the quantity N plus D where D is the number of inversions. Yeah. The average running time for an insertion sort is n squared divided by 4, and the running time is linear in the best case. This makes it more efficient in practice than most other simple quadratic algorithms. This algorithm is called stable because it does not change the relative order of elements with equal keys. It only requires a constant amount, 0 times the quantity 1, of additional memory space. This is what's known as an algorithm being in place. Finally, an assertion sort is known as an online algorithm. This means that it can sort a list as it receives it. Now let's dig into the algorithm a little bit. Essentially, every iteration of insertion sort removes an element from the input data, inserting it into the correct position in the already sorted list until no input elements remain. The choice of which element to remove from the input is arbitrary, and is very simple to make using just about any choice of algorithm. To further explain how the insertion sort works, we're going to show you a few simple visual examples of the scenarios an insertion sort may encounter. There are three potential cases an insertion sort may have to deal with. Best, worst, and average. The best case input is an array that is already sorted. This seems kind of obvious, as this would entail the least amount of work. Now watch the visualization of an insertion sort as work with the best case input. During each, case of, during each iteration of the algorithm, the first remaining element of the input is only compared to the rightmost element of the sorted subsection of the array. So as you can see, the algorithm looks at the two values, determines that they are in the correct order, and puts them back and down and moves down the line. Now let's take a look at the worst case input. For an insertion sort, the worst possible input it could handle is an array already sorted in reverse order. This requires the most amount of work because it has to walk over every single element all the way down to the beginning, meaning, by the end of the list, the final value has to be moved all the way down to the beginning of the list, while being compared to every value along the way. Now watch the visualization of an insertion sort handling the worst case input. As you can see, the algorithm looks at the two values as before, but this time it must send the smaller of the two left in order to put them in the proper order. As we get further down the list, the rightmost value has to be shifted further and further, thus taking more time. We have now seen the best and worst cases for an insertion sort, so let's move on to the average case, an array that is not sorted at all. This is the case that will occur most often, and the running time is in between that of the best case and the worst case. When working with an average case, the insertion sort works just as it does with the best and worst cases by comparing two values at a time and placing them back down with the lesser value to the left of the greater value. The difference between the average and best case is that some shifting will occur instead of simply setting everything back down. There will be less movement in the average case than there is in the worst case because the algorithm won't always have to shift something as the two elements may already be in order. Now watch the visualization of an insertion sort with average case data. You can clearly see the difference between the average case and the two others.
Now that we've shown three visualizations for an insertion sort, let's have a quick recap. Insertion sort has a simple implementation and is better with small data sets. The sorting algorithm is adaptive, and its average running time is n squared divided by 4. It is stable, meaning it doesn't change the relative order of elements with equal keys, and it only requires a constant amount of O times the quantity 1 of additional memory space, which makes it an in-place algorithm. It's an online sorting algorithm, which means it sorts the list as it receives it. Thank you for using our video. Hope you enjoyed it.